Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to regain access to your website if in case there's any error on .stxs file or functions.php. So basically, some errors like this. Critical error or error 505, internal server error. These are normally caused by some mistake codes on .stxs file or functions.php. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Let's get started by opening the browser and going to the dashboard that is wp-admin. Enter your username and password. In the earlier tutorial, we added add expire headers code via WP file manager. Let's go to WP file manager. This is the .stxs file where we added the code for add expire headers. Right click and edit code editor. Let's suppose we made a mistake here while adding the add expire headers code. Assume we forgot to copy this bracket. So if we save this and try to open our website, we will receive internal server error. Now since we already have made a mistake, we cannot even log back to our dashboard. Like if I go to the dashboard, there's an error. I cannot revert back and save this as well. So basically, I lose control of the website. In order to get back to the site, we need to access the files either via cPanel or FTP. So let's go to our cPanel, enter your username and password and login. After login to your cPanel, go to File Manager and then look at where your website files are. Usually under public underscore HTML or it could also be outside somewhere. Find it. So this is all of our website files. .stxs files is not visible here. So go to Settings and click on Show Hidden Files. So .stxs file is here. Right click and edit. Click on Edit. So as you know, I missed the bracket. So if I add one here and save changes and then try to open the website, it's working fine. I can even log into the dashboard. If I refresh this, as you can see, I can easily log in. So this is when you know where you made the mistake. Suppose this is the mistake and you completely do not know where the error was. I close this. Now the site won't be working. In this case, what you can do is simply download and backup stxs file for safety purposes and rename it to like .stxs1. After doing this, what happens is the website will automatically create another .stxs file. However, all codes will be gone. If I open the site, it's working all good. You can log into your dashboard or WP file manager, etc. So if you do not know the error, this is the trick. New stxs file will be created after some time. So you can edit the old stxs file and identify the mistake. So this info are already normally there. Remember this opening and this closing. These are normally there. These are the codes we added for expire headers. If you are not sure where the error was, simply open the expire headers code, copy them and replace them. What you need to make sure is this is open and this is closed. Likewise, this is open. This is closed, opened and closed. Save changes. I will just rename it to .stxs and try to open the website. And it's working. Normally after renaming or deleting .stxs file, the website will create another one after some time. So this might replace the one and overwrite all the codes if you added new stxs file immediately. 
so double check and later make the changes with the backup if required. The other case could be error in functions.php. If I go to appearance and theme editor and functions.php, if I made a mistake here, normally functions.php will not take wrong codes. However, in some circumstances, let's go to functions.php via file manager. WP dash contain themes and it could be either parent theme or child theme depending what you are using. Open parent theme and here you can see functions.php. So if I edit this and find the mistaken code and save it, the website will work. But if you are not sure what mistake it is, first back up by downloading it and replace it by your themes function.php. Let me make a mistake here, open it first and then add a wrong code and save changes, then open the website. Here's the error. The site won't work because of this critical error. For this example, you know where the mistake is so you can rectify it as we exactly know it. But sometimes we may not know the mistake. Let me close this. Keep a copy of function.php file. Always have a backup before doing anything. Now whatever theme you are using, in my case, this is a theme I am using. If I scroll down, here is my themes function.php. I will drag it to the desktop. So this is my themes default function.php. Rename the old function.php. And now upload the themes default function.php. And then go back to my website and refresh it. It's working fine. And now what you need to do is compare the old function.php with the themes default and add codes added by your designer from the old to new one. You can also edit it and if there are any wrong codes, for instance if I have this, look for the syntax error and then make a corrections as required. So this is how you can gain access to the website for errors while copying add expires or defer parsing for JS codes. I hope this was a good lesson for you. Thank you very much.